yourself love, what is love? Love is an emotion, right, that is triggered when you believe that a, an item is meant to be part of the system, meaning it's valuable. Okay. Right, well, to have self-love, you have to, right, have the understanding that you are playing a role in the system. You're beneficial, right? To have that understanding that you are contributing something to something else. Nothing is a valuable to itself. A, a lit of a pen is not a value to itself. Its value is the role it plays. Mm. So I, I sort of say this. If you walk up to someone and say, what is a person's value correctly measured by, right? The next question, if they don't, you know, even before giving them time to answer it, you can ask them, what is that question even asking? And then you can stop and go, but hang on, uh, why is the correct answer to that question so important? Well, the, re the, question, the question you're asking when you say, what is a person's value measured by, is you're asking what role do they play, the contribution. Why is that so important, the correct answer to that? Because your understanding of the role they're playing has to be big enough, right, that it is never in jeopardy, okay? Because if you're picking something that is not big enough to never be in jeopardy, whatever that item is that you're actually saying represents the role they're playing, if it does get into jeopardy one day, the person is going to head for suicide, that is why those questions are so important. What is the person's value correctly measured by? Right. What is that question asking? Right. And uh, why is it so important to have the correct answer to that? Okay. So really, what we're saying is, self-love is the whole subject of what what role are you playing that makes you right always so valuable? What is your contribution? All of that is essential. Now, what's happening out there is. The typical spiritual philosophies, counseling philosophies, whatever that are out there, they have their origins set in society's core principles. The principle of you have free will. You could have chosen to simply have acted different, etc., than you did at that moment. The, the, that sets up the if you're good, you'll get foundation philosophy that society lives by, which actually says to the brain, you've got to get out there and you've got to accomplish something that proves you to be a worthy a worthwhile investment, meaning you're valuable, and hence you receive your requirements for your development. Right. Our psyche has been educated to actually live by that. And what does that do? That can have people incorrectly attaching their value to the wrong criteria that one day gets into jeopardy and not such a good outcome. Right. So uh, the, the things when they say egos, you know, the problem with the world and all this, that is not true. That is not where the problem is. Yes, it's true that people are getting an incorrect understanding of what their value is, but simply just to say ego is a problem, that is not where the problem is at all, right? The, so what we, we really do in the subject of self-love, we've got to explain what are all the philosophies that are out there that are, that are making it difficult for people to have self-love, right? And what are the things that uh, allow people to gain the understanding that have a sense of self-love? You've got to bring up those. That's when it gets interesting, because what are you doing? Well, you get to the bottom of understanding what love is, right, etc., and then you go, which philosophies, uh, how can I put it, contradict that compared to which philosophies reinforce the, the lessons in wisdom that, that give self-love? That's an interesting subject, but it is not one that is usually addressed. Mm. Okay? So... Because what happens is the moment you start to open it up, most people, currently, most people's understanding of things aren't big enough to literally uh, yet explain it. That's what's going on. Mm. In spirituality, they start to get all lost up in, hey, we've got to go within, go within, go within. They get their levels of going within, going within, and all this sort of stuff, the spiritual things, oh, I'm a level seven spiritual, whatever. I can actually ask any of them, what's a person's value correctly measured by? Why is it impossible for anyone's life to actually go wrong? And I can ask them any of the questions they actually need to have, and most of them, they don't know. They can't answer it. Uh, why? Well, quite often what they say is spirituality surpasses human intellect, and hence is not explainable. Why the friggin' hell have we got a brain? What do you think it's wrongful? No lesson in wisdom is not understandable or, explainable or is not explainable. Mm. They are. Right? But their current spiritual things don't allow them to actually even know that. They're off with the fairies. 
right? And they have an incorrect understanding of intuition and what it really is, okay, and the role it really performs. Okay, so Mm -hmm. it all gets twisted in a lot of these spiritual concepts. So what happens is, if you get a person whereby their their uh, life's kind of going the way they kind of want it to, the stuff in their achievement model is pretty good, right? They can hold incorrect concepts but still feel quite okay because how they want life to go is not really being challenged. But if they've got incorrect understandings of life and, okay, they've got how they want life to go, if life's not going the way they want, their concepts that they live by start to get challenged. And they can quite often get to a point where they go, I have to live by these spiritual concepts. I have to go and learn that. And they they really start to really live by those spiritual concepts, which they can't. Uh, It pushes them off the edge. It literally pushes them off the edge. But the people out there whereby, right, they've either got a certain amount of good concepts mixed in with a bit of incorrect concepts. That's not so dramatic for them then. Or number two is, the other one is, Things kind of sort of, the, the things in their achievement box is kind of sort of going that way at the moment. Uh, they don't literally have to live too much by those spiritual concepts. They're not so desperate for them. They kind of think they live them by it, but they're not really. And it's not that desperate. But when it's yeah. desperate to the psyche, they, if they reach for those incorrect ones, they're not going to be able to live up to the incorrect ones and they're not going to have a sense of value and it all gets extremely scary and you literally see their hatred towards the world and their environment and himself and everything starts to evolve. So, you know, the whole thing of self-love, man, is that so important? Uh, or just simply uh, the, the, the concept of uh, self-esteem. Self-esteem. Yeah. How valuable do you think you or your life is? What an important subject. That's why... It's the most uh, common thing asked or talked about. Oh, my kids, you know, his self-esteem is not too good. Oh, I need some self-esteem. Man, that's where many psychological topics begin. That question, how are you self-esteem-wise? Or people seeking help for it. So the whole thing is self-love. It's huge. It's big. Uh, and where you're up to in your growth of understanding reality. And remember, you get that from society. You get that from your environment. That's how that development happens. Where you're up to in that governs your understanding, the, 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 thing, the concepts you look at that topic through. The bigger your understanding of that, the more you actually understand why you and everyone else is so valuable and why it's impossible for your life to unfold incorrectly. Here's one phrase I'll leave you with. I think it's a beauty. Uh, yep. People go... Uh, how did that event happen? Oh, no, simple. That event happened because of everything that ever played a role in how that event came to be. That's it. That event happened due to everything that ever played a role in how that event came to be. That takes everything into account, even the things you don't even know about. Mm-hmm. That's why life cannot unfold incorrectly, and that also means that you are in that process going about every day doing the actions that you believe you need to do. Every action you ever do comes from your brain. Even the true intuitive abilities come from the brain. It is a faculty of the brain, with some people a little bit more, uh, how can I put it, uh, experienced in or... Yeah, I can't think of the right word for it at the moment. Gifted, maybe? No, I'm not going to say gifted. I'm going to say fit. Fit in. Yeah. Right? The, um, even that comes from the brain. You know, that's why some people correctly read the future. The future hasn't happened. But their brain is reading the energy fields that exist now, and out of that, that's what formulates their mind to understand what's going to eventuate. And it's, you know, it's not bad, the brain, hey? Right? Mm. But, that, but that also means what? I mean, if you went and saw a clairvoyant and you asked the clairvoyant, say, listen, I'm going to pay good money here. I, I, I need to know my future. And the clairvoyant sits down and uh, tells you what your future is going to be and then finishes with the, the phrase, but you have choice. What do you do? Well, first you grab your money back and go, I'm sorry, no, I want to know what the future is going to be. And you ask what the future might be, may not be. I want to know what the future is going to be. Yeah. Because there is future. Well, that's actually the future, isn't it? 
exactly. But yeah, remember that 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 phrase: the events that are taking place now. They're taking place because of everything that ever played a role in how they came to take place. That caters for everything, even if you don't know that whole process. That's called mm. cause and effect. That's what energy is yep. all about. All right, that's how we exist. Due to all that, whatever's back there. Don't need to know what's back there. You don't even know. need to know what's ahead. Right? You're playing your valuable role in the system and, right, you are growing as you're going along. Beautiful. That's what's taking place. Wisdom explains that. Mm. It acts, oh, that's that's a, Wisdom yeah. literally neutralizes your issues about the development process. That's what the lessons in wisdom do. By explaining why each part of the development process is fine, there's nothing wrong with it, it neutralizes your issues about the development process. Mm. Okay, so that's, that's like I said, that's, we're going to cover a big topic today. That's a huge topic. It really is, yeah. Thank you for summarizing it so well. See, that was beautiful. No problem. 